We are getting the bathroom ready, prepped. Well, it's about to be anyway. I took off the door down here and the shower, shower head, and a couple pieces of the molding along the door so I can uh, tape everything off from here up. I'm going to put newspaper and whatever up there. And then we're going to try the paint sprayer, which I've never tried. So that should be interesting. Can't wait. One last look at the old yeller bathroom. Should be nice and white. All right, so we are all sanded up. Ready to paint. I wiped it down with uh, TSP and I uh, lost my tack cloth so I didn't wipe it down with that and then uh, some uh, mineral spirits so hopefully that'll get most of the crap off and we'll get some good adhesion now uh, that right there I'm hoping just needs to dry a little bit I think that's the case so just about ready to start painting Never used a sprayer like this before. But that's not going to stop me. First thing I will do is grab some towels. We're going to pretty tight quarters.
also got to put in the rest of this paint. My feet are super sticky. I just handed it off. idea if the uh, last video even got taken but can you see my nose it's just so white I've been doing so much blow so yeah that mask could have worked a little better maybe not use the uh, Harbor Freight masks next time I'll show you the uh, finished in a little bit. I wanted to just see if you could actually see this. My eyes have been painted shut. There we go. So here's the hoping this stuff is water soluble. This is High Karate's top secret lime orchard where High Karate's cracked botanists have developed the only lime big enough and powerful enough to go into High Karate Oriental Lime after shave. High Karate Oriental Lime, with indispensable instructions on self-defense in every package. High Karate Oriental Lime. Be careful how you use it. Here we are the next day. Does that look discolored? No, it's just a shadow. So I'm about to do the reveal. Looks pretty good, I would say. I hope it uh, sticks. It's the only concern I have down here. It looks shiny. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty shiny everywhere. Couple little tiny spots, probably can't tell. There's one. I think those are bugs. All right. The shitter is here. FedEx came on time. <sighs> Fragile. like this. It's all spray foam insulation. That's that's pretty crazy. I think it's just two bolts. So this shouldn't take any longer to install than it did to get out of the box. Surprisingly, uh, the Dometic toilet came with new, new hardware, so we'll go ahead and use that. 
I think, as long as it'll work. And I can see some spider webs down there. Oh, they're not gonna be happy. So, this little feller can wiggle out, I think. Maybe I should just use these, but whatever. These replacements. Okay. Nice one. Mm, they are a little bit shorter, maybe a, just a quarter inch or something. So they'll probably work. They don't have this top piece on though. I'm gonna guess won't make a difference, yeah. Okay, so I had to switch cameras, switch phones. Uh, I think this is shooting in a lower quality, so sorry, whatever. That's done. I just gotta catch the water. Water over here. Alright. Start building some pressure and check the leaks. So, one thing I will say is for the spray handle, the little handle right there. They give you a nice little bracket, which is cool, but they give you these screws and these little drywall anchors, which, you know, are going to go about that far into the wall, and then they're going to split behind, but I don't think that's going to do much. I mean, maybe. I guess we'll try it. See, I don't even want to try it, because then I got that big of a hole in there. I think we might just try these first and see how it goes. so far so I get a hold. So yeah there it is. Here's the whole deal. So yeah we got the little lever down there. Half puts water in. Go further and it flushes. So it definitely fills up faster if you use both of these. And that little swirl jet thing, I'm thinking that thing kind of sucks. I mean, it's all right. But that's so more pressure and we'll find out how that goes. So we're up, I think around 45 PSI. Yeah. So we can go ahead and shut down the tank. So no air leaks out. Just how I fix that. Go look at the shitter. Let's see if that looks like more pressure. I would say not really. Maybe a little, yeah. So all in all, I would say I'm pretty happy with the bathroom remodel. I would now definitely want to paint that 
even if I don't get a new one, I'm just gonna paint it because it looks so, so bad. There's a big yellow spot. Same thing with this one. I still have the tape on there. Actually, I'll pull the tape off. And that's the same thing. It just, I don't care if it does start to chip off. Chipping off is gonna look better than that, so. Yeah. Who wants to take a day? It's effervescing. 